Sofonisba Anguissola was one of the most successful artists of her time. Born around 1532 in Cremona in the Lombardy region of Italy, she came from a noble family. Her father encouraged his children's artistic pursuits, and several of his daughters became accomplished painters. But it was the eldest daughter, Sofonisba, who proved the most talented, and she soon studied with the local artist, Bernardino Campi. One of her earliest known works is of Campi, who happens to be painting her in this particular work, and this could theoretically continue forever, like a classic Escher. Anquisola was a pioneer as a female artist, and her talent for portraiture that she perfected with members of her family and herself soon took her to Rome, where she caught the eye of Michelangelo, who offered her guidance as an artist. Her own big break would come when she was invited to work at the Spanish royal court, where she painted numerous members of the royal family, including King Philip II and his wife, Elizabeth Valois. Sadly, though, a fire in the 17th century has meant that many works from this period in Anguissola's life have been lost. After 14 years in Spain, she returned to Italy as one of the most sought-after portrait painters of her time. She was a leading light for other female artists, including Lavinia Fontana. And late in life, just as an elderly Michelangelo had advised her, she passed on her wisdom to Antony van Dyck. He even painted her portrait at the age of 92, as he gathered as much advice as he could for his own career as a portrait painter. She passed away the following year, and her contemporary, the great biographer of the era, Giorgio Vasari, credited her remarkable achievements, saying that she created rare, and very beautiful paintings. <laughs>